If you're looking for your dream home, relocating or simply downsizing, trust Jackie Mitchell Properties to make it happen. With professional service, an abundance of experience and total dedication, Jackie Mitchell Properties is your number one choice should you wish to buy or sell in these challenging times. Visit jackiemitchellproperties.co.za to view the latest listings or call Jackie Mitchell on 073-390-8214. Yours in property, Jackie Mitchell Properties. A home that's priced to please, a home with all your needs. Live from the spectacular Garden Roots in South Africa. We're streaming worldwide on eradiosa.com. Indeed we do. It is just after 2 o'clock on uh, this Tuesday afternoon and it's time to catch up with uh, Travel Bug Rose. She's coming to us from her coffers this afternoon in Wilderness. Rose, hello. Hello, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Beautiful day here in the Garden Route. A nice little south easterly blowing here in the wilderness. So um, we've been busy with a paragliding festival. So everybody's in the sky except for me. I'm busy working. Oh <laughs> man! But you you're probably going uh, up in the sky soon. Yeah, I'll probably go and sneak up there. I hope the wind isn't going to get too strong later. But I've just got to do some work stuff. <laughs> lacquer, lacquer. Yeah. Well, Rose Easter is just around the corner. So today we're talking about a few of the events here in uh, the Garden Route over the Easter weekend, the Lack Long weekend. Yeah, um, so visitors to the Garden Route, I'm actually glad what I did is I kind of went from um, from tourism office to tourism office and uh, looked at what they were pre- uh, representing. And uh, I mean, you're welcome to go visit every single tourism site. They have all their little... Um, things that they're doing, but I thought I'll just highlight a few things that I find quite interesting. And uh, I went and looked at Martha Bay's uh, little site, and I see that they're actually running a Hattenburg gift past March, from right from the 1st of April, right through to the 1st of um, of May. Ooh. So if you're in... in um, if you are in Hartenburg, go and see if you can. Um, uh, let me just see. I've got a little pic here that I've actually downloaded of them. And uh, go, yeah, go and see the little part mark, yeah. So, Hart and Bosch Village is in Hart and Bosch on the 102. So, uh, the gift mark that's running from the 1st of May, to, uh, 1st of April to the 1st of May. So, a lack of. Other little. Yeah, other little, little things that I saw in Martha Bay, for those for those who are not shoppers, but other, I have to look at other things. Um, I see there's some music events. And one of my uh, things that caught my eye was uh, Honor Carsten. And he will be performing on the 4th of April at Reed Valley Wine Park. So, on a question live at Reed Valley, that sounds like a fabulous thing. And I also see there's a beach cleanup. And I also saw that there was, uh, for those who are into the birding, there's a birding walk at Huttenbos Game Lodge. So that looks Rose, fabulous. you won't believe it. Arno Carstens is actually coming up next on the playlist after oh, our wow. chat. And I, it wasn't planned. <laughs> oh, thank you. Interesting. So much, <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, I I spoke to um, I spoke to uh, Colleen from Outward um, Outward Tourism Outward, and they are actually having the Ostrich Crawl, which is um, uh, is an event that is being held in Outward. Um, let me just try and see. I've actually did. Here we go. The Outward Crawl is being held at Highgate Ostrich Show Farm and the mountain bike event. And that will happen on the 3rd of April. Um, so, yeah, you go into that. Uh, you can just Google Ostrich Call Open. It will come up. Um, and you just enter by Ninja. So that would be quite cool. Ostrich Call Mountain Biking mm. Event. 
at the between all the ostriches. <laughs> yeah. Hope you can handle that one alive. <laughs> <laughs> No, and then, um, well, that office was very interesting. So I'm just going through my list of stuff here. Um, it was, oh, yes, uh, this caught my eye. I hope this is going to happen. Uh, they, at the, the, the last year, I know they were supposed to have it, and it didn't happen. So I, mm. I really hope this is going to happen. This is the Garden Route Air Show on the 3rd of April. Uh, and uh, above, obviously above George. So let's hope on the third of April at the George Airport, uh, we will have they will be display of high performance aircraft in the area. I think that could be something spectacular. Yeah, that's, that's going to be awesome. Mm. Yeah, that's mm. definitely something I've got on on my little list. So let's hope, cross fingers, cross, cross toes, that that's going to to happen. And then um, moving over to um, to Niza's side, um, there's quite a lot of um, events on, music events. I mean, they are very big in the music events with Big Metal Live. They're the awesome event organizers. And I see uh, we've got Karen Zoid um, live on the 2nd of April. And Jesse Click is also and also the Polytones. So Polytones third of April and Jesse Click live on the fourth of April. And he's really awesome. I really love that kid. Yes. He really such a nice young guy. As he well. is. Really, he really, is. really awesome. Um, and then good old Fletch, I see. I'm very interesting, and I was hoping to speak a little bit more to Patty. I spoke to her this morning, but she was hectically busy. Um, and I saw that was there's an adventure challenge, which is the trail run and the adventure duo challenge, which is on the third and fourth of April consecutively. So just go on to their website, which is uh, um, and then I was I was looking at this but the Garden Route Walking Festival, which is normally over this time of the year, but I see on their website that they just uh, postponed it. So I don't think that's going to take place this year. But if uh, yeah, put that in your if you're a hiker, that is one of the one of the better activities in the Garden Route over Easter. And then just a little thing I see here: the Tech Festival. Um, I mean, this is later than Easter, which is eighth of April. Um, they're bringing back to the Bubbly Festival, which was very exciting because, Ooh. oh my goodness, they have such a fabulous event. Isn't that where you <laughs> met uh, Suzelle a couple of years ago? Yeah. <laughs> like her. Yeah, Diana, I forget. That was freaking, oh, I know, that she's like, <laughs> that was, no, Pleto's really got some, um, Patty and them, I mean, they really organize some freaking awesome stuff, I can tell you. Yeah. And of course, and that, that's kind of where we're at. Um, and of course, I don't know if you saw, when, how is it that I would actually bump into Ian Roberts? Bump no, he's really cool. Said. I've met him before. <laughs> really chilled guy, eh? Oh. And they are, they, I don't know, this is not Easter, but they are playing in Nysa on the 27th of March. So I've watched them before. I've watched them on the top of the roof at PDP. Mm. And geez, they were jamming. And the violinist in that um, little band is so yeah, I yeah. would if you like music, there's a whole bunch of little nice stuff um happening. Go and look on Mossel Bay's website, visit Mossel Bay, visit Nisner, um Gardener dot com. They've got quite a lot of listing, um, Oatsring. I had to phone Colleen, but you can look on the Oats Room Tourism page. And, of course, the, I look on the Tourism page as well. And, uh, yeah, that's where most of the, you'll find most of your info. Um, also, on your social media site, if you Google or you just check for your events in the area, and I'm, I'm sure some of them will come up. But there's some really nice stuff happening. Rose, I'm wondering yeah? if you know that uh, Ian Roberts' ex-wife, uh, the actress Michelle Buitis, is staying yeah, here I'm, in, I'm, in the area. Uh, I don't think she's here anymore. I think she's moved back to Cape Town. I don't know Michelle. I've um, I've met her. We've met her, met up a couple of times had coffee and fun at one stage. She moves she back. Oh, no man. You know, I think she's she was. I think she went a little bit into hiding, and then I think she's actually decided that she needs to emerge again into public space. 
maybe she felt like she needed to do some more acting again, but yeah, I think she's actually in Cape Town now. Yeah, she was hiding. I, I remember people said she was very undercover. I actually saw her one day in a shop. I was standing behind her and I was so tempted to talk to her, but you know what it's like. Will you see famous people? <laughs> um, and there was like, I just went blank. And I just I said, oh, no, just keep your mouth shut because you're going to screw this up. Yeah, you do. You kind of feel like you're invading this space. Yeah, right? that as well. I respect it because she had these huge shades on as well. So I was like, no, I don't think yeah. she really wants people to, you know. Yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah. So it was like, I, I, it was. It's funny, she, I was renting out a space and that's how I actually met her. She came and looked at the place that I was going to rent out. Ah. <laughs> okay, well, she's yeah. a lovely lady, uh, you know, and, and also much yeah. smaller than I thought. Uh, very, very nice oh lady. But she is acting again, apparently. She is acting in some new Mnet series. So oh. she's definitely out there again. That's, you're, you're yeah. totally correct. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not the same. You know, I sometimes feel sorry for her. I mean, Sorry for people. They're just people, you know. And exactly, I, I, man. I would, it's, you know, to kind of, you can't go anywhere without being recognized. I, was, I think I would hate that. Yeah. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is you heard, you work so hard to be recognized and then you hide behind shades once you are recognized. I could, ne I can't really understand that. <laughs> yeah. I think it's, it's funny. Uh, it, it doesn't, it becomes an invasion of privacy, basically. Yeah, I think yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you need to be a specific, you need to have a specific personality type to kind of enjoy that. Uh, but I think most artists are, are very, very shy and withdrawn, you know. So it's, it's something to get used to. Maybe you never get used to it. No, you don't. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think, I don't think we're, we are made to have constant people constantly in our faces I mean, no. unless you like um, unless you are like I don't know <laughs> the social <laughs> animal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rose, as always, nice. I'll uh, I'll let you carry on there in your coffers in wilderness. Uh, thank you for the update, and then we'll talk again soon. Yeah, um, and um, if you are around in the wilderness and you can. To spot pilots that are flying into Map of Africa and along the coast, you're welcome to come and say hello to us, anybody in the area. Fantastic. So, yeah. Thank you so much, Rose. Talk to you again next okay. week. Take care. You too. <laughs> Bye now.